let's remember that how we manage our engine and our airplane with our prognostic health management system. We look ahead at the utility of one engine to the next, of everything unique in the airplane. We don't change oil at a preset time. We don't do maintenance at a preset time. Like historically, legacy aircraft were managed. Were managed. We manage the airframe and all parts of it, the engine included, on how it is used uniquely. Typically, one aircraft might be used harder than another. And over its lifetime, we manage what it needs. It tells us what it will need for maintenance versus the hard, rigid maintenance plan that we had in every jet to this point in history. Does that help answer how we were going to think about it? It's making me all confused. <laughs> You're not changing your oil at 5,000 kilometers anymore. Yeah, I, it's going to tell us when sure. it needs oil yeah, to be changed. I, I, I get that. And so Still. here's why that's important. F-18 people here know all about fatigue life management and the structural problems that haunted the F-18 fleet, including my Air Force, with three major modifications over its lifetime because we broke the spine. In this aircraft, we will understand every element of every airplane over its lifetime, so we will know structural fatigue over 20 years or 30 years and not have the risks that the fleet, that F-18s that I came from, suffered from. Is that 100%?